Winston, are you ready? It's time for another Viva on the street, people. I don't know who's following the news out of Quebec, but if you're not following the news, here is the breakdown. Uh, the Premier, uh, Francois Legault, and his health guy, I forget his name now, have recently announced that as of January 18, 2022, they are going to be applying the vaccine passport to liquor stores and marijuana stores, the SDQC and the SAQ. Quebec expands vaccine passports to liquors, cannabis stores with third dose requirements on the way. They're going to be requiring people to show their vaccine passport to go into the liquor store and the SAQ. Now this goes back to the beginning of the shutdowns in 2020, where they shut down non-essential businesses. I can't do the scare quotes. They shut down the non-essential businesses, but left open the liquor store and the marijuana store because they deemed it to be essential at the time. In fact, you had Francois Legault humorously, tongue in cheek, joking about how people might need alcohol during this stressful time to relieve the stress. That, and he didn't want people who are dependent on alcohol to end up in the healthcare system, but he made a joke that during this time of induced stress imposed by an abusive government, people might need a glass of wine in order to relax. I think some people, unfortunately, they need to have some alcohol, so I don't want to bring those people in the healthcare uh, network. And I think that uh, also for the, 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 to reduce the stress, you have to do some exercise, so have a walk, but sometimes a glass of wine may help. Now, that being said, when they shut down all non-essential businesses but left the SAQ open, it was because they deemed it to be an essential business. And this comes back to another thing that I said when they initially rolled out the vaccine passport. I said, no way that this is going to be limited to non-essential services, as they explained at the time, because I said, logically, if COVID is so dangerous and so dire that they need to lock people out of anything unless they show double vaccination proof of the vaccine passport, it applies, I'm gonna go behind here and just get some wind It applies even more so to essential businesses and not non-essential businesses. You don't want people infecting hospitals, healthcare areas, um, nursing homes. It applies in theory more so to essential businesses that were left open than non-essential. So I said, this is just a segue. One day they are going to apply this to essential businesses and you're gonna have to show full vaccination in order to get treated at a hospital. We're not there yet but we're one step closer because now they are basically saying that you are going to need to show the vaccine passport in order to access what they had hitherto described and considered to be an essential business. Anyone who thinks the quote vaccine passport end quote will remain limited to non-essential services is deluding themselves. If the risk is so imminent that a quote vaccine passport end quote is necessary to protect non-essential services, it should be all the more true of quote essential services end quote, hashtag vote PPC, which not enough people did. So they are either saying now the SAQ is not essential as they said back in the day when they left it open while shutting down non-essential businesses, or it is essential and you now need to show your vaccine passport in order to have access to certain essential services and it will be expanded. And incidentally, they have implied, if not outright said, that they're gonna get even tougher than this. And this goes back to the very beginning again, where when they said, when we reach 70% double vaccination, we will open back up. The province will open up. Getting double vaccinated is your ticket to freedom. We are now at over 80% double vaccinated in Quebec and Canada. And not only are things not opening up, they're shutting down more so than they ever have. And not only are they shutting down more so than they ever have, we're under a curfew now. I mean, people, you guys know this because you watched the vlog. We're under a curfew. Now, luckily, our gracious, thoughtful government uh, eliminated that restriction on walking dogs after curfew at 10 o'clock. Now we can walk our dogs after 10 o'clock. It's not yet 10 o'clock, so I'm not even into that realm. But in all their infinite wisdom, where they had previously prohibited dog walking after curfew, uh, only to uh, eliminate that idiotic restriction, we are still under curfew. 10 to 5 in the morning, curfew 2.0, because these Viva on the streets started a year ago during the first one month curfew that lasted five months. So when they originally said 70% double vaccinated, we open up, we are at 80 plus percent double vaccinated. And not only are they shutting things down, now they're saying that in a month or so, triple vaccination is going to be the new double vaccination. You will not be vaccine passport compliant unless you have been boosted after your first and second injection. It is a moving target, which would be comedic if it were in a movie, but it's tragic because it's our lives and it's our freedom. But, and as much as we comply and as much as we do what they say at every step of the way, 
the goalposts move and they move to an even worse place than they were before. 80 plus percent double vaccinated. And as of, I don't know when they're going to announce it, but as of a month or so, they're going to require a triple vaccine, a boost, in addition to the two shots already, in order to be compliant with the vaccine passport to access essential and non-essential businesses. But it's even worse than that because they are abject, shameless tyrants. Uh, they said, look, it's not gonna be mandatory right now to get the boost. It's only gonna be mandatory after we've given everybody who's eligible the uh, option to do it voluntarily. Dubay did not provide an exact date for the change, only saying it would be made once all Quebecers have been given the chance to get a third dose. Do you know what? Making something mandatory after it was voluntary, it was never voluntary in the first place. This is doublespeak. It's 1984 Orwellian doublespeak of abject, shameless and remorseless dictators. We're gonna make it mandatory after the voluntary period is over. You know what that means? It was always mandatory. And it's doublespeak lies to pacify people at the beginning so they can keep pushing the damn envelope the way they've been doing for two years. Pushing, 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 and when they get some pushback, you can walk your dogs after 10 o'clock. Push, 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 triple dose voluntarily, but then not voluntarily. And these are the people talking about follow the science. The lockdowns didn't work the first time. Surely they're gonna work the second time. Hey, we, Drudo was on Twitter the other day saying we have record vaccination levels in Canada. We also have record infection rates in Canada, not record hospitalizations because there has not as of now been a correlation, a, a, a statistical correlation between the infections of the Omicron variant and hospitalizations. But you have the guy saying record vaccination levels in Canada, it's working but we also have record infection rates in Canada. Hmm. Uh, but if we keep doing the same thing that has been working for the last two years, uh, surely it will work the third time around. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And we have entered the realm of nothing shy of an insane, tyrannical government. And the problem is, I keep saying, how much are people going to take? How much are they going to put up with? And the problem is when you don't respect yourself and when you don't respect your rights and your freedoms, there's no limit to what you'll put up with because you don't have the fundamental respect of self in order to say enough is enough and I don't deserve this. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a protest tomorrow in Montreal. I think we're gonna see how many people are finally starting to say enough is enough and I don't deserve this because this is not science. This is nothing other than tyranny. It is the government pushing and pushing and seeing how much power, how much freedom they can grab under the guise of, an, of a never ending emergency. Two years in, Two years in, it's no longer an emergency. It's government incompetence. Anyhow, that's the latest in Quebec. My fingers are freezing off. Get over here, get over here. The dog is cold, but he's keeping my exposed hand warm. Uh, you know what to do if you like my stuff. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Sorry if there is wind. It is windy, it is cold. Uh, otherwise, it would be a beautiful evening in Montreal, Quebec. The problem is the government ruins everything. They have ruined everything. They have ruined what was once a free, democratic, beautiful society. They have pit citizens against citizens. They have now gone out of their way to blame this pandemic on the unvaccinated. It went from two weeks to flatten the curve to blame everything on the less than 20% of the population who are not vaccinated. That's not science. That is incompetent and immoral governance. All right, with that said, people, peace out. Peace. We on va s'en sortir de cette pandémie par la vaccination. Puis on, sait, on en connaît tous des gens qui sont en train d'hésiter un petit peu. On va continuer d'essayer de les convaincre. Mais il y a aussi des gens qui sont farouchement opposés à la vaccination. Qui sont extrémistes. Qui ne croient pas dans la science, qui sont souvent misogynes, qui sont souvent racistes aussi. C'est un, 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 un petit groupe, mais qui prend de la place. Et là, il faut faire un choix en tant que leader, en tant que pays. Est-ce qu'on... Uh, est-ce qu'on tolère ces gens-là ou est-ce qu'on dit, ben voyons, la plupart des gens, presque 80% des Québécois, ont fait ce qu'il fallait faire, mm. se sont fait vacciner, on veut revenir à, 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 aux choses qu'on aime faire, uh, c'est pas ces gens-là qui vont nous bloquer. Même